Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing the holiday tag of 2017. Um, I have, we have, or some of you may not want to be watching this, but you clicked, so ha, huh, you're a fault. Um, anyway, so my friend Anthony at, over at Candle Cafe, he tagged me originally a while ago, and I'm only just getting to filming this. I'm actually planning on uploading it the very next day. Um, I got really sick and I like I was really sick and I don't make sense and like even right now I'm still stuffed up so the holiday tag before we go any further what I do have on my lips is the L'Oreal collection exclusive Julianne's red which is number 401 and Julianne is Julianne Moore I thought I'd go for a little festive red um, okay so this is exciting. So Anthony did tag me, and for, before I go, go any further, I'm so late to the game on doing this that I want anyone out there to do this tag, whether it's doing the tag as you're going along and watching and you're listening to my responses, maybe we have some similar ones, or um, if you have your own channel or even Instagram. If you only go on Instagram, I, please, I would love to see your tags. Um, I would love to see your answers to these questions. All right, so the very first question, I have my little um, questions right in front of me here. Favorite holiday song? I like so many songs, but I really like the classics. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Like, who doesn't want a white Christmas? We actually might get a white Christ Christmas year on Vancouver Island. Maybe it's supposed to snow on Christmas Eve, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and I do have Christmas music on the, in the background, so. Uh, so as far as favorite holiday song, I think uh, like I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas, I like the classics. Those are my, some of my favorites. Favorite holiday food, all of it. <laughs> um, jeepers, okay. Well, I love to bake. In fact, today, I, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll understand when I'm filming this. I, I just made a whole bunch of uh, coconut macaroons which to me is like, it's a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer kind of approved uh, dessert because uh, on the top it has those like maraschino cherry on top, it looks like his little nose. But I do enjoy baking, um, I love other people's baking. When it comes to food, all of it really, it's just so good, it's normally very rich, you can only have so much of it, <laughs> that kind of thing, so I enjoy it all. Uh, artificial tree or real tree? Artificial, now for me, my tree goes up the day after Remembrance Day or Veterans Day, so I couldn't do a real one. I would dry the tree be dried up before I even got to Christmas. So with that said, it is artificial, um, plus I have a cat, and, and I really I don't want to be cleaning up um, needles and things like that. And yeah, so uh, yeah, just an artificial tree is good for me. White lights or colored lights? Well, as you can see, I enjoy color lights. Now, here's the thing. I only have a small place. If I had this lavish place, like a home, like a big home, I'd probably, if I had this huge foyer, I would probably do a themed tree every year, i.e. there would be a different color scheme going on, and probably white lights on those trees to go with the color scheme in that. But this is what I grew up with. I grew up with artificial trees, colored lights, decorations that you made from kindergarten, um, just things like that, like their traditions. In fact, my family, when we dress a tree, it always went dad did the lights, mom did the garland, and my sister Carrie and I did, did the decorations. And there is a commercial, and I'm not even joking. I, when I saw this commercial about dye, I called my mom, I'm like, do you know that they made a commercial? I swear to God, it was about what happened when we were kids. Keeping in mind, I was born in the late 70s, but there is a commercial out there. I think it was a Canadian Tire commercial here in Canada, but it showed like the little kids decorating that they had free reign to decorate the tree. So I got like a red stain on my finger. Um, they had uh, free reign to decorate the tree. So mom, the mom, or whomever, they did the lights, they did the garland, and then the kids came along and did the decoration of the ornaments. And because they were only so tall, they only decorated like each year, got a little bit more, a little bit more, and a little more widespread and so on. That's exactly what my family did for us. So again, dad did the lights, mom did the garland, and my sister and I did the decorations, as, as, and they led us. Like it used to be like this huge cluster of decorations at the very front. And then as we got older, you know, it spread out, out and wide and things like that. So I think that's awesome. It's a pretty cool memory. Um, have you ever re-gifted? Uh, absolutely. 
Um, sometimes it's just because I have like a thousand, you know, give me a candle or whatever, but I normally don't just re-gift the gift. I will re-gift the gift with something else. Like sometimes it just goes with the theme of something I'm sending um, or giving to a, to a friend. So yes, of course I have, I'm not gonna lie. Um, favorite thing about winter and snow? Here on Vancouver Island doesn't, well, I shouldn't say that. It does snow quite a bit, like it seems most years now. But, uh, when it does snow, it's so peaceful. And I, like, view, I have an amazing view outside of my window to the ocean, and you can see the storms rolling in. So, even the snowstorms. Um,. I don't like the drivers. It's, I'm supposed to be positive. It's supposed to be favorite thing I like about the winter and the snow. Well, I like the snow when it's white, but it's not very fluffy. Where I am, it's not a dry snow. It's very wet and heavy and makes for some very interesting uh, drives on the highway. Um, okay, so worst Christmas present. I can't think of one. I can't think of a worst Christmas present, to be honest with you, because I can't really think of anything that would be like the worst. Like... Obviously, it's not memorable, memorable because I don't recall it, so that's my answer for that. Number eight, favorite holiday memory. Um, although it was an odd holiday memory, there, I've got lots, but it's a, it's a different holiday memory. My sister and I and my mom and dad, we'd, my mom and dad were really good. We had family out where we lived, but we also had my dad's family out on Vancouver Island because I didn't always live here on the island. And we would always be in our own bed when we woke up on Christmas morning. Like we were always in the Okanagan. We would go visit the family closest to us, like only a couple hour drive, um, be with them for Christmas. But this one year, um, I guess it was memorable for good and sad ways too. We knew it was going to be my, my dad's father's last Christmas. He passed away of Lou Gehrig's disease or ALS. And, uh, and it was in the mid nineties. Uh, it was, we knew it was his last Christmas. I think I must've been like 15. But so all four of us, we had to open, it's kind of an unfortunate memory, like we had to open all of our presents before Christmas because we just had this little car and we would have to drive all four of us with all our gifts. So, I mean, we still had things to open on Christmas morning, but we had to open all of our gifts before and um, stay with family. So it was a little bit different. That's the first Christmas we never stayed in our own beds or woke up in our own beds. Um, but it was a good memory because we were able to spend that Christmas with our grandfather and my dad's father so that was really cool um and it was the first time i can honestly say it wasn't a funeral and it wasn't a wedding and we had everyone there which was unreal because my dad's the eldest of four kids and everyone else has kids and so on and so forth so that's very cool all right um would you rather dress up or stay in your jammies for christmas jammies <laughs> um there have been many years where this year my parents are actually on their way right now. They just let me know they're on the ferry. Um, so, oh my gosh, they're super early, which is awesome. Um, but there's been many Christmases where I spent it by myself. And just because, you know, I don't want, I didn't tell people it's by myself. I don't really care. But I would literally have mimosas in my pajamas and like have my Christmas breakfast and continue on <laughs> um, throughout the day and just be lazy because it's normally like Christmas jammies are super soft and fleecy and warm and I love it. I, I could, if I could wear jammies all the time, I would totally wear PJs. It's a hundred percent. Um, do you send Christmas cards? I don't. And it's very rare for me to give birthday cards too. And I don't know why I think because maybe, I don't know. I, I've just never been a sender of cards, which is really sad. And I prefer you know, calling someone and actually talking to them on the day of that kind of thing, most, you know, for their birthdays, but, but Christmas is in general. Um, yeah, no, I don't send out cards. I'm sorry. Thank you everybody who sent me cards though. I appreciate it. Um, favorite Christmas movie. Oh, this is mean. I have many different traditions that I, of Christmas movies that I watch. And one that might be surprising to you is I only first watched the movie Elf. For the first time like maybe three years ago i know like it's been around and it's so popular i just never got into it um christmas story the red rider bb gun with the compass and the stock and the thing that tells time that's awesome but you know what i wasted three hours of watching the live version on t television the other night i was sick as a dog i missed my fire department santa claus parade because i was so sick 
And anyway, that movie was on, or the movie was on. <coughs> it's more like it was more like a musical. It was horrible. Too much. Anyway, I like the original, um, that the Christmas story. I, of course, National Lampoon's A Christmas Vacation. That is a must. In fact, my family, it's my, my, one of my presents to my parents is that locally there's an amazing theater, a uh, live theater in, t or just outside of my town where I live. They do, and they're known all over the world in Shamanis. Um, anyway, for this year's Christmas theme, they're doing, um, like a rendition of the National Lampoon's Christmas st Vacation, but the Griswolds go to Mexico, I think it's, I think it's Cancun. And I bought us all, all three of us were going for a um, brunch and then straight to the play right after on Christmas Eve. So that's kind of our Christmas Eve gift and like fun just to get out and stuff. So that should be really fun. Um, there's so many, but the one and the, I'm very specific when I say this, I hate period. I, I shouldn't say that. I dislike period pieces. I don't like country and westerns. I don't like that kind of thing. I never have in general. But there's one movie that I must watch Christmas Eve on CBC here in Canada, Canadian Broadcast Broadcasting Company. It's on a couple different times in the evening. I watch the late one because I think it's over around midnight. Um, it is Alistair Sims, A Christmas Carol. Black and white, although they start pumping some color into it here and there, but I prefer it in the black and white, which normally I do not like black and white films. It is my absolute favorite. I have to watch it on Christmas Eve, and it is normally the last thing I watch before I go to bed. So, regardless whether I have company or if I'm on my own. Uh, favorite Christmas tradition? I have so many. Okay, growing up traditions are mom and dad told my sister, you know, we were old enough, like we were like eight or nine or whatever, like that kind of age. They, we, we were allowed to get up at any time we wanted to, to check our stockings, but we weren't allowed to bother our parents. At seven o'clock sharp, just, we were told, this is what you press for the coffee machine. And this is the temperature you set for the oven, preheat the oven. When it beeps, you put the casseroles in the oven, which is our breakfast casserole. And then and then we could go and wake our parents up and now coffee drip through. So you always did the coffee first and then did the, the oven stuff, the prep. And then you go and you wake up your parents and on that. And then we come out and my dad was always Santa in the sense that he, very strict, it was like very smart on his part. Rambunctious kids on Christmas morning, regardless of the age, he played Santa. So he would go to the tree and it was his job to pull presents you know, pick a present. Oh, it's to who so and so I want, and here you go. But if you spoke, if you said anything, it was a mm, it was a zip it kind of moment. You were to be very quiet. But if you said anything, and you're and he sat there with a present for you in his hand, oh, back under the tree. Yeah, you learn pretty fast as a kid. You better be quiet, <laughs> zip it, and if that, you never know what present he's pulling out next, right? But um, at Christmas Eve, we, although some I know some European families do celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve, for us Christmas Eve is just about playing board games and card games and having appetizers and just, you know, just chilling out. And as we become adults, of course, all of that is there, and put some drinks as well. Um, just a big dinner on Christmas normally with family growing up. But you know, things have changed. You know what I. I this is gonna be awesome. I'm so excited to have my own, my parents over for Christmas. It's been quite a few years. Just the food and yeah, just chill. And other than that, it's pretty cool. It's pretty chill. Uh, <clears throat> do um do you go out or stay in for New Year's Eve? It kind of depends. Sometimes I'm at, well. Normally I'm out somewhere, whether it's at someone's house for a house party. This year I'm going to a house party on the 30th because of everyone's schedule and like who wouldn't want to work for three times the amount of money on. New Year's Eve slash in because a lot of my friends are shift workers and so their shift would be like uh, 5 p.m. until 5 a.m. going into Christmas Day so no doubt they would definitely want to take the triple it's not even double bubble it's triple bubble when it comes to pay so I'm going to a house party this year on the 30th for New Year's Eve and then friends of ours um, like friends of mine they just happen to say hey we got a spot for you know those uh, breakout rooms? So we're gonna do a breakout room and then go for a nice meal afterwards. So I'm pretty stoked. I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But I've stayed in. Um, I was engaged to someone in the Navy years ago 
and uh, he was always away, you know, obviously. And uh, so there was many times that I would just be chilled out at home, just not doing too much. And then, you know, friends of, and a lot of my friends at the time were in the Navy, so a lot of them were gone. So, but other times I got to people's houses, I've had New Year's parties at my home, so it's a big mishmash. So you guys, that is the holiday tag. Thank you so much, Anthony, for um, including me in your tag. And I feel so bad. I know you're probably gonna be like, no, don't be so, don't feel bad. I do feel bad that it's taking me so long, but I'm literally filming it on the 22nd and I'll be uploading it, all things go well, on the 23rd um, because I just, I was so sick and I just, you know, it's the first time I put makeup on and done it, well, not that I did anything to my hair, but first time I've worn makeup in over a week. <laughs> Which I know sounds stupid, but I haven't been out of the house other than to go get groceries. All right, you guys, I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Happy holidays for whatever it is that you celebrate. Be safe. I always say that, but I really, really, I can't stress it enough. You can only worry about you and you have to you know, be cautious of others. Don't get into a car with people who've been drinking and driving, you know, and want to drive. Wear your seatbelt. Seatbelts save lives, uh, everything like that, you guys. I cannot stress this is a brutal time of year for driving out there, um, for whether it's even weather or sometimes it's alcohol um, on the part of somebody else that has nothing to do with you and you just unfortunately get part stuck in the middle. So I say that at the end of all of my videos, be safe and have fun, and I mean it. Have fun, have a great time, but be responsible. Um, and, and make sure you're safe. The people you love will miss you if you're gone. No one wants that. So, um, and again, you guys, thank you so much for being here for me. Thanks for all your well wishes for Willow. She's sleeping. She's been doing, a, she's loving the fact that I'm home right now. She's all she's doing is sleeping on my bed and cat hair everywhere. Oh. I have to put a towel down there too. Anyway, um, so thank you very much for all the well wishes. I want to wish you all a very happy, safe holiday season. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. I know I'll have videos up between now and I'll have a couple on Christmas, hopefully, and of course all through the new year. So there's gonna be lots, lots of videos. So you guys, as always, be safe and have fun. Take care, guys.